Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for joining me. This is your host, ID Jester. Welcome back to another little project we're doing here. We are going to be playing golf. Yes, of course, the golf. And we're talking about the Masters. We're talking about golf. And we're going to be using not Apple Golf. We're going to be using Everyday Player Golf. This is a game you can get from Downey Games. And this is normally a where you play uh, each player is rated for round one, round two, round three, round four, and a couple other things. And you basically roll to find out how they did for a complete round. But in the game booklet, it says that this game engine is flexible enough and does enough things that you can simulate a hole by hole game with this engine and it gives you different charts to use and so i've always wanted to try that i don't know maybe we did this last time i can't remember if we did or didn't anyways we're gonna be playing the 2018 masters final round final four participants which is john rom jordan spieth patrick reed and Ricky Fowler. So those are the final four. So we're going to play through their final rounds, starting where they started, going into final round. And we're going to go hole by hole, and we're going to find out who should have won the 2018 Masters through Everyday Player Golf. Again, this is something you can pick up at Downing Games. Again, this is normally where you can play through a whole tournament. You can... Shot, uh, you can go round by round, you roll for a player, you find out how their round went, and then you go to the next player and roll and see how their round went. And you can go through 60 players round one, 60 players round two, three, four. In an hour, you can have a whole tournament done. That's what the game engine is designed for. Although it's designed to be flexible, like I said, and it gives you this opportunity where you can also do a whole by whole thing. So, we're going to do that. We're going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. So, to help us along, I created a little Excel sheet. There we go. There's our little Excel sheet. Here's our... So, here is, obviously, we need the player, or this is the, um, the course. This is the course. Uh, and because we're doing the hole by hole, we're going to use these special long play, match play cards. And then here are each of the players, and each of them is rated with, again, round one and two, round three, round four. They're also rated for driving, fairway, trouble, par three, par four, par five, and putting. All right. So uh, what would you do is you roll the dice. Again, this is going to be a number from one, uh, one, one, which is 11, to 66. And you read it just like that. This would be a 23. This would be a 45. And then you look at the result on the course to find out what exactly skill you're checking. Now, with that said, a lot of these results are par 3, par 4, par 5s. What we're going to do is, if so we say roll a par 3, we're going to find out what the actual par is. And you can see I actually have the pars listed right here and so like if we're in hole one if we roll a par three we're not doing par three we're going to be doing a par four because it's a par four course i also have all of their ratings on here as well and their starting round information that's what this is here in the very left so john rom goes in the final round at minus eight Jordan Speed goes in the final round at minus five. Ricky Fowler goes in the final round at minus nine. And Patrick Reed goes in the final round at minus 14. So there we go. Uh, any questions, let me know in the comments section down below. But we're basically, you will see how things play as we go. Again, this game engine is very flexible. There's all kinds of uh, different uh, skill scoring and blah, blah, blah. Uh, playoff holes there's different ways to do things there's all kinds this is just the 2018 season as you can see uh, and it has all of the actual courses there's the 
Byron Nelson, the ch the Players Championship. We have Wells Fargo, Zurich, CIMB Classic, the CJ Cup, Safeway Open, Shriners Hospital, Sanders Farm ch uh, Championship, the WGC HSBC Champions, the Century Tournament of Champions, the RSM Classic, the OH. You see, there's a bunch of stuff that you got all the different courses and everything, blah, blah, blah. So. There's a lot to do in this game, and it was pretty reasonably priced. I would check it out if I was you. All right, here we go. So we're going to start with John Rahm, and we're going to see how he does in hole number one. It's a par four. Par four, here we go. So we simply roll. We get a number 45. We look at 45. 45 says par three. Again, this isn't a par three. It's a par four. So since it's a par four, we're going to look at his par fours, which is an A. So when we look at skill, there are skills and then there are scores. This is a score. Skills are driveway, fairway, and trouble. And is putting a... Putting might be a skill as well. And then your scoring is... Par three, par four, par five. So when we do scoring, we're gonna roll on, oops, let's put these, we're gonna roll on the B skill card. Well, uh, when we're doing skill, I'm sorry, when we're doing skill, we're gonna do A, and when we're doing score, we are gonna be doing B. Let me make sure I have the Match play, play on hold, do, 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 do. yeah, okay, I was going to make sure I had the right, even though they both say skill, right, uh, you're going to use long play A or B, yeah, okay, so, he rolled the par 4, so his par 4 is an A, so we're going to be on the A column, on the score, which is the B, so he's on the A column here, and we simply roll the dice to find out what kind of score he got on the hole. He rolled a 36. 36 is a minus one. So he got a bogey. Minus one. Boom. So you can see his score. Okay. All right, so we got minus one, a uh, birdie, and we go to Jordan Spieth. Simple as that. So Jordan Spieth, let's see what he rolls. And I'm going to have to slide this over because I don't want to have to reach across every five seconds. Can you see everything? Yes, you can. All right, so Jordan Spieth is up. Let's see what Jordan does. He rolls 16. 16 is a par four, which it is a par four. On a par four, he's an A. So we're going to scoring B. He's an A. We're on that column right there. Let's see what he gets on the first hole. He rolls a 15. That's not good. Plus one. He bogeys. Plus one. And he is going to drop to four under par. Let's go to Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed. <coughs> rolls of 46. 46 is a par 4. That's what it is. He is a B. We're going to go in the B column. And see what he scores. So, uh, this should not be Patrick Reed. This should be Ricky Fowler. He's next. So, Ricky Fowler is an A on the par 4. So let's see what he got. He's going to roll on the Ricky Fowler. He gets a 22, and that is a par. So Ricky Fowler gets a par and stays at 9 under. Now we go to Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed, 13 is the fairway. So our first skill, skill is an, under the A column, is skill in the fairway is a D. That's not his best. He's not great from the fairway, I guess. 
He's better. He's better at trouble and punting. Not so good from the fairway and terrible driving. So he is going to the fairway. Column D. He rolls though a 42 and a 42 is going to be a pa. As Dave Gardner would say, that's a pa. So he will stay at 14 under. So after one hole, John Rom gets the birdie and closes in five behind Patrick Reed. Jordan Smith drops to 10 back. And Ricky Fowler stays six, five back after one hole. And we simply go to hole number two. Hole number two is a par five. So anytime we roll anything, if it's a par five, par five, A for Rom, A plus for Smith, A for Fowler, and A for Reed. So they're all pretty good at par fives. Let's go to John Rom and see what he's doing. He got a 13, and that is a fairway. He's an A in the fairway. Let's see what he does in the fairway. Which of these uh, four players has the best card, in my opinion? Um, I would say probably, probably either Spieth or Ricky Fowler has the best card. Uh, you can see Patrick Reed has actually got an F in driving. And John Rahm has actually got a D in driving. So uh, Fowler's an A or B in everything, but he's only a minus two across the board. The reason Jordan Smith is just as good is a minus three in round three. So he's really good in round threes. Uh, and he's also got an A plus in part fives, which we might see here. So John Rahm is an A. Let's see what he gets. Uh-oh, 54. That's going to be a birdie. So John Rom comes out birdie, birdie. Oh, and shoot. Hmm. I'm going to need to continue this. Equals 5th. Was fifth. And we have to continue that across the board. There we go. Okay. And we'll have to fix the other ones too. Gosh darn it. Didn't think about that. Okay. Well, he starts off Bernie Bernie. Jordan Smith now. Let's see what he does. Do I have a personal favorite out of all these? Uh, no, I don't have a personal favorite. I like all of them. I don't. I like all of them. I like. Uh, I like John Rom. I like Jordan Smith. I like Ricky Fowler, although I think he's a little over the top. And I like Patrick Reed. Of all of these, I would probably say my favorite are Smith and Patrick Reed. Are probably my favorite. All right, Jordan Smith. Let's see what he does. 64 is putting, so he's going to be a B putter. That is a skill, and he is a B, so let's see what he can do. He's going to need to roll a 54 or higher to get a birdie. He rolls a 44, but he's going to get a pa. He's going to get a pa, and this is going to equal this plus this, and we're going to copy this across the board. Boom. Okay, Ricky Fowler. Let's see what Ricky can do. Ricky is a 55. That is a trouble. He is an A when he's in trouble. He got trouble in the second, on the second uh, hole. Let's see what he does with the trouble. Oh, 66. He gets an eagle minus two. Ricky Fowler, are you kidding me? Holy cow. And that is going to equal this plus this. And we're going to copy that. An eagle. An eagle on the par. Woo. We're going to have to 
highlight this one in big, let's see. Uh, sure, we'll put it in double blue. Wow, that's a, that's a big boy one there. And birdies, we should put them in little blue. Like that, there we go. That's, that's pretty good. All right, Patrick Reed now. He's only three shots ahead. Let's see what Patrick Reed can do here. His, his lead is dwindling as Ricky Fowler with the eagle on the par two. Woo! 61 is par four. This is a par five, so his par five is an A. An A right there. And, uh-oh, 24 is a pa. So he gets a pa. This is going to equal this plus this. And we're going to copy that across the board for now. All right, so after two holes, Patrick Reed, pa, pa. Ricky Fowler with the eagle on the par two. We go to the par four third hole and back to John Rahm who is now only four shots behind here at the Masters 2018. Thanks for joining us. You said Reed was he is a he's an A. Patrick Reed on par fives is an A. He's not an A plus. And the A, he rolled, he got a minus two on the A, on the A column. John Rahm, let's see what he can do. Here we go. 43 is a fairway. So his fairway is an A. So he is going to go to the A column. He needs at least a 46 to get a birdie. He got a, ooh, 34, and a 34 is a pa. So pa for him. Let's go to Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith. 14 is trouble. He's an A in trouble. Uh, oh, because, you know what, because I copied and pasted it, and yeah, you're right. My overlay is incorrect because I copied and pasted and forgot to change the stats, right? So that these players all have the same stats as these players because I forgot to change them. Let's go ahead and do that while, I'm, while you're mentioning it. He is a B. Ricky Fowler in the fairway is a B. Forgot to do that. Trouble, he is an A. Uh, thank you for catching that. Par three, he is an A. Thank you for catching that. He's an A, which is good. And our par fives, he is an A as well. Putting, he is a B. And minus two. Minus two and minus two. All right, that's Ricky Fowler. Let's do Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed is an F. And fairway, he is a D. And trouble, he is an A. Par three, he is a C. Par four, he is a B. Par five, he is an A. Putting, he is an A. And then he is a minus one, minus two, minus one. All right, let's save it because that 
Yep, I just copied and pasted, and then I forgot to actually go in and edit all the, the information. You are absolutely correct. Good catch, by the way. Let's uh, go ahead and outline each one of these players in bold. So we can kind of separate them a little bit. All right, back to what we were doing. Good job. All right, Jordan. So Jordan Smith is in trouble. And he is an A. There we go. So he needs a 36 or higher to get a birdie. 36 or higher. He got, oh, 32. He got a pa. So Pod is across the board so far here on the par four. Number three, Ricky Fowler coming off the eagle on the par five. 65 is driving. He is a B. That is a skill. So he's a B on the skill. He needs a 54 for a birdie. Can he come back with the birdie? No. 32 is a pa. So, so far, everyone paused. And now it's up to Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed, 62, is a par 5. And we know this is a par 4. So, par 4, he is a B. He needs a 41 for a birdie. 41 to extend his lead. Here comes the 12-foot putt. And it is... No, he misses it. In fact... He gets a, oof, a, he goes from a birdie to a bogey and drops to 13 under. Everyone just a little bit closer now after three holes. Oof, that one is a bogey. We should mark bogeys with oranges. There we go. Orange there. Anyone else? We got some Bernies. Uh, zeros. We will actually probably just leave those. Leave those as whites. I think would be a good option. Yeah. In fact, let's put white across the board. Oops! Didn't mean to do that. Let's undo that. Do it like this. This way, the um, the uh, holes will stand out a little better as we progress through the game. I was going to color code each player, but I think I like color coding the results instead. I think that works a little bit better. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think that definitely stands out a little bit easier to see what's going on. Don't you guys agree? All right. <laughs> Exciting things always happen when you join. That's right. That is correct. All right. We're on to the par three, fourth hole. Par three. So anytime we roll anything, it's going to be a par three. John Rahm is a B. Jordan Smith is a B. Ricky Fowler is an A. Patrick Reed is a C in case that result comes up. Let's go to John Rum first. He rolls a 54, which is the fairway. And the fairway on the skill, he is an A. On the fairway, he needs a 46 or higher for a birdie. He's, oh, he gets it. He gets the bird. Oh my gosh, and things are getting tight now. He gets the birdie and goes to 11 under. Jordan Spieth. Let's see what Jordan can do. Jordan 32 is a par three. He has got the B, par three. He needs a 41 or higher for the birdie. He got it. 46. He gets the bird. The bird is the word right now. And he falls back to five under. Ricky Fowler. 
52 for Fowler is a drive. He is a B. He needs a 54 to get a birdie. Oop. Try again. Oh, no. A 12 is going to be a plus one. Ricky Fowler, plus one. That is going to hurt. And he drops three shots behind Patrick Reed now. Patrick, 26. Fairway is, oh, he's a D. That's not great. He needs a 45 or higher for a birdie. 43, no. This is par. Or his putt limps out and he's going to get the pa. So after four holes... Still a lead of only two shots against John Rom. John Rom is burning three of the first four holes today. Are you kidding me? Back to a par four on uh, number five. Here we go. And John uh, Josh says he likes the color coding. I do too. All right, John Rom. Let's see what he's going to do. It's a par four. 54 is the fairway. He is an A on the fairway. Can he make it another Bernie? 46 or higher. Oh my gosh, he does. 64. Oh, he almost got an eagle too. He Bernie's another hole. Are you kidding me, ladies and gentlemen? No one's stopping him. He's one shot behind the leader now. Jordan Spieth. 51 is a par, what are we on, we're on a par four, par four is an A, he needs a 36 or higher, no, he still can't get that darn dice to work for him, Ricky Fowler coming off the bogey, 13 is a fairway, he is a B. He needs a 54 or higher. No, another bad roll, and he's going to. He is not. He fallen another shot off the lead. Back to back bogeys here. And we go to Patrick Reed. 46 is a par four which it is a par four. He is a B. He needs a 41 or higher. And no, oh my gosh, a 16 is going to be a bogey. Another bogey. And we got a tie for the lead between John Rahm and Patrick Reed. Oh my gosh. His five stroke lead is gone. Two bogeys and four birdies for John Rom. Holy cow. Uh, that is crazy. Wow. Here we go. This is, we're going to the par three six. Par three six. Here we go. 16 is a par three, is a B. Uh, B on the score. He needs a 41 and he'll take the lean. No, 25 is a pa. So he gets a pa. Uh, Jordan Spieth. 23 is a par three. He is a B. Same thing. He needs a 41 or higher. 43 gets it. Minus one. Six under now with the birdie. Ricky Fowler coming off of back-to-back -back bogeys after that eagle on the par five. 35 is a drive. He is a B. He needs a 54 higher. Oh, wow. A 12. Once again, he almost gets a plus two. In this case, it is just a plus one. 
And that is back to back to back bogeys. Oof. Oof, Maron. What are you doing there, Ricky? And Patrick Reed. 22 for Patrick is a par 3, and he is only a C. He needs a 43R. 53, and he sinks it. And takes the lead back. Takes the lead back. Clutch there. Clutch going into the 7th. We got a par 4, 7th hole. John Robb coming up. 52 is a drive. He is actually a D. He needs a 56 or higher. 35. Is he going to stay in the par? He does. He's going to get a par. Jordan Spieth. 45 is a par 4. We're on a par 4, yes. He is an A. Got an opportunity here. He needs this one. 31 is a paw. Ricky Fowler. Coming off of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back bogeys. 22 is a par 4. He's an A. Ooh, he gets it. Minus one birdie. There you go, Ricky. There you go, Ricky. And now Patrick Reed. 32 is a par four. He's a B. He needs 41 or higher. No, a 16. He's going to drop another stroke. And he's back to even with John Rom after seven holes. All squared at minus 12. We go to the par 5. John Rom, par 5. He's an A. Jordan Smith is A+. Plus. Ricky Fowler is an A. Patrick Reed is an A. Let's see what comes up. 22 is a par 5 for John Rom. He is an A. Opportunity Gore. 35. No, it's a par. 36 is a minus 1. He misses his putt. And stays at even par for the hole. Wow, that was missed it by that much. Jordan Spieth. 33 for Spieth is trouble. He's an A in trouble, though. Ooh, 56, and he gets a birdie. Birdie it up. Birdie it up. Minus two on the round is Jordan Smith. Ricky Fowler. 61 is par five. He's an A. If he gets a 66, he gets another eagle. No, but a 54 is a birdie. And back to 10 under par. And now Patrick Reed. That dice literally rolled all the way across the room. All the way. All right, Patrick Reed. Let's see what he gets. 31 is a par 5. He's an A. 36 or higher. No, he's fallen again. And one over, and he's out of the lead. He is three over on his final round. Going into hole number nine, par four. Hole number nine, par four. Let's go. John Rahm, now the new leader of the tournament. 55 is trouble. He is only a C, though. He needs a good result here. 23 and no, he bogeys, he bogeys, he bogeys. 
And we, oops. So he ends up minus three on the front nine. Tied for the lead. Jordan Smith. Uh, 41 is a par four. He is an A on the par fours. Oh, 16 is one over. He had a terrible front nine. One over and Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler with two eagle, uh, an eagle, two birdies, and three bogeys. And a 14 is trouble. Lots of trouble on this hole. He is an A though. Oh, 64, and that will give him a birdie. So he ends up two under on the front and just one off the lead. No, he's tied at 11 under for the lead. Ricky Fowler coming out of nowhere with birdie, birdie, birdie to end out. Wow, and we got a three-way tie depending on what Patrick Reed does. 54 for Reed. He's a fairway. So his fairway is a, ooh -ooh, a D. He needs 56 for a birdie to take the lead. A 52 is a par, and we got us a three-lane lead going into the final nine holes. So now what I have to do is I have to do this is going to equal this plus this this is going to equal this plus this equals this plus this equals this plus this and then we can copy that Ah, health bells. Equals this plus this. This plus this. Try that again. Equals this plus this. Okay, Whew. so let's go ahead and save this. I don't need to undo and redo it all again. So at the halfway point, we will color code So minus three for John Rahm in the first nine holes. Jordan Smith one under. Ricky Fowler two under. And Patrick Reed decided to let everyone back in the tournament. With a five-shot lead, he goes three over par on the front nine. And we have a three-lane lead going into the final nine holes. It's anyone's game at this point. So here we go. Final nine holes. It's John Rahm. 26 is fairway. This is a par four fairway. He is an A on the fairway. And he rolls a 25, which is a pa. Pa. So no adjustment there. John Rahm. I mean, sir, Jordan Spieth, 63, is trouble. He's an A. 53 is a birdie. 
He wants to get into play Ricky Fowler. 32. This is a par four. He is an A. 43. Birdie. So Birdie is blue. And now, uh, oops, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. He got a, he got a paw. He got a, he got a birdie. Wrong one. And takes the lead of the tournament. Ricky Fowler, the new leader of the tournament, depending on what uh, Patrick Reed does. 45 is a par 4. He is a B. He needs a 41. No. 23 is, oh, just barely a par. Just barely a par. Holy crap, he almost missed the putt. And we got a new leader. Ricky Fowler is now winning the tournament. First time we mentioned he was winning. And now he's got eight holes before he is a Masters champion. John Rahm wants to have something to say about that. We go to the par 4 11th. 23 is a par 4. He's an A on the par 4. John Rahm. 53 gets the birdie. He ties for the lead. And we go to Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth, who we've messed everything up. This is going to equal this plus this. Here we go. Sorry about that. So he is a par four. 51 is a par four. He's an A. 14, nope, he bogeys. No, he cannot get anything to go today. Cannot get anything to go today. He drops all the way back to five under where he started his round. Three bogeys and three birdies for Jordan Spieth. Ricky Fowler, on the other hand, has got four birdies in a row. And before that, it was three bogeys in a row. 21 is a par four. He is an A, and a 36 or higher will give him a two-shot lead. No, 23 is a pa. So Patrick Reed can tie him with the Bernie. 15 is a par four. He is a B. He needs a 41 or higher to get a Bernie. He does. Minus one clutch there, and we got us a tie for the lead again. Going into the final seven holes. John Rom. This is a par three, short par three, only 126 yards. This is the one that goes up over the little uh, pond there that's on the side of the hill. If you don't hit it exactly where you need to hit it, you are in big trouble on this one. So, here we go. Par 3. Let's hope your par 3 scales come into play. 15 is a par 3. He is a only a B. Can he get their distance right on this one? 46. He can, and that is a birdie. And he goes and takes the lead of the tournament with back-to-back -back birdies. Jordan Smith, who's pretty much out of it at this point with seven holes to go. 35 is a drive. He is a C. 43 is a paw. And we go to Ricky Fowler, who's now a shot behind the leader. 14 for Fowler is trouble. That's A. Oh, he didn't hit this one very well. 
He's in the front bunker. He's got to have a tough bunker shot to get this one close. Can he nail it? 42. It's up there close, but not in. So we're going to give him a paw. And Patrick Reed needing this one. Let's see what he can do. 22 is par 3. He is only a C. He's a 43 or higher to tie for the lead. No, 34 is a pa. A pa is not good enough, not right now. John Rom with six birdies so far in his round. Woo! Six birdies and one bogey. It's got the lead of the tournament. He's taking it away from Ricky Fowler, who just got it a couple holes ago. We go to the par 513. The name of this hole is Az Azalea. This is that one that has that funky corner, I think. Azalea. Par 513. Here we go. John Rom, par 5. A. Spieth, A+. Plus. Fowler's an A. Reed is an A. No one with a distinct advantage in the, on the par 5s. Rom, 55, is trouble. Uh-oh, he's only a C. Got himself in trouble here. But 64 is a birdie. And that's three birdies in a row. And a two-shot lead now. Jordan Spieth, 56 is par four. Uh, what are we in? We're on, we're on the par five. Oh, he's an A+, plus, uh, which is this one, A+. Plus. So literally 35 or higher is a birdie. 62 is a birdie. He misses the eagle, but he gets the birdie. Not that it's going to help. He's still quite a ways back. Ricky Fowler, though, he would like a birdie. 25 is a par 5. He's an A. 44, birdie! Oops, I did it again. I forgot. Wait. Did Sp yeah, Smith got a birdie, right? Yeah, yeah. He got a birdie. Okay. Everyone getting birdie on this one. Well, it's up to Patrick Reed to follow suit here. Fowler, now just one shot back of Rom. 36 is trouble. He's an A in trouble, though. Can he get the birdie? He does. Wow. Three birdies. No, everyone with the birdie. Four birdies on that hole. And we go to a par 4, 14th. This is Chinese fur. Chinese fur, 440 yard, par 4. 440 yard, par 4. Here we go. The leader of the tournament by one, John Rom. 26 is fairway. He's an A. Fairway A. 32 is not going to do it. That is just a uh, paw. Jordan Smith. 43. Fairway. He's an A. 24 is a paw. Ricky Fowler. 44 is trouble and a 42 oh he's an a and a 42 is a pa chinese fur last chance patrick green 21 is a par four he is a b 54 and a birdie oh boy here we go we got a tie again with three birdies on the back. Patrick Reed decided to wake up, Farnley. Decided to wake up. 
And we go to the 15th. The 15th is a par 5 Firethorn. Par 5 Firethorn. 530 yards. Hang on to your hats. Here we go. Par 5. A, A plus A and A. They're all really good at par 5s. John Rahm. 44 is trouble. He's a C. Gets himself in trouble. Can he get something done? No! No! That is a plus two double bogey. Oh, that is not. That is not what you wanted to see there. That is, oh, that's a worse color. We can't even give you orange. We got to give you a red one on the double bogey. Ooh. Jordan Smith. Wow, that was brutal. 23 is par 5. He's an A+. Plus. Can he get back into things here? Uh, par 5. He's an A+. Plus, so 45 is a birdie. So that's a good result. He's uh, making a little bit of noise. Ricky Fowler now one shot behind Patrick Green. 32 is a par 5. He's an A. 52, he gets it. Birdie, tied for the lead. Time for the lead with Patrick Reed. Patrick's got something to say about that, though. 13 is fairway. He Oh, he's a D in the fairway. Not good. He needs a 56 to get a birdie. Oh, 56. Uh-oh, 22 is a bogey. No, and we're going to have a new leader again. Wait a minute, what happened here? We have a new leader, and that is Ricky Fowler for the second time. He is winning the tournament. No, wait, what happened? Uh, oops, he should have got a minus one. I don't know what I did there. There we go. Yes, he's winning the tournament. Big change here going into the 16th hole. Big changes going into the 16th hole. It is now Ricky Fowler's tournament to lose with three holes to play. John Rahm with the double bogey on the 15th. We go to the 16th. The 16th is Redbud. 170 yard par three. 170 yard par three. Part three is a B, a B, an A, and a C. Let's see, John Rom, what do you got? 44 is trouble. Oh, boy. He's in trouble again. I think that double bogey's really unnerved John Rom here. 34 is a par. So he squeaks out a par. And Jordan Spieth. Seven shots back. 13 is a fairway. He is an A in the fairway. 35 is a par. Ricky Fowler, the, uh, the leader of the tournament. 32 is a par three. He needs a 36 for a birdie and a two-shot lean. He gets it, birdie! Oh, my gosh, that's clutch there. John Rom needs to answer right now. He's two shots back. 25 is a par three. He is only a C, though. He needs... 43 or higher. 43 to close back in on Ricky Fowler. Yes, he does it. Clutch 
pumps the fist, loves it, gets it. Oh, clutch there, and with a one-shot lead with two to play, it's coming down to Ricky Fowler and Patrick Reed here who pulled away from John Rahm, and Jordan Smith just couldn't get things started today like he did in real life. John Rom, we have hole 17, par 4, Nadia, 440 yard, par 4, Nadia, here we go, John Rom first, 22 is a par 4, he is an A, he is an A, 45, can he get it? Yes. If the others falter, he might be able, be able to jump in there. Jordan Spieth. 24 is par 4. He is an A. 33 is a par. Ricky Fowler winning by one. 33 is trouble, but he's an A in trouble. He needs a 46 to put a stranglehold on this one. 46 for the birdie. 25. Oh, it's a par, just barely. But Patrick Reed, it opens the door for Patrick. A birdie, and we could be going to extras. 25 is a par four. He is a B. 41 or higher, and we have a tie. 43, he nailed it. Oh, it's clutching. We got a tie going to the final hole. You couldn't ask for anything else. You could not ask for anything else. A tie going to the final hole. The final hole is Holly. 465 yard par four. And it all comes down to how well you can do on this par four, ladies and gentlemen. It is tie. And John Rahm was just lurking two shots back on the par four. A, 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 and B for Patrick Reed. So the advantage goes to Ricky Fowler. John Rahm first. 62 is a par four. He's an A. So he needs this. 36 to get within one shot and maybe a playoff. He does. Clutch putt. If the others falter, he might be able to get in the playoff now, but he's going to need both of them to falter. Jordan Spieth. 56 is a par four. He's an A. 36 or higher. He No, a par. So Jordan is out. Now it comes down to this. Ricky Fowler and Patrick Reed. Everyone came to see it. You could have missed the whole video up until now. Let's see what happens. Par. He's going to say uh, birdie par. B-O bogey and bogey. Birdie, par, bogey, bogey is what is, well, so far, it's birdie, par, and now he needs bogey, bogey, and he'd be right. He would be right. Let's see Ricky Fowler saying, no, I'm not doing a bogey. What are you doing? What are you talking about? 31. 31 is a par four. He's an A. An A is 36 or higher for the birdie. If he rolls 21 or less, it's a bogey. Let's see what he gets. 41, he nailed the putt. He takes the lead of the tournament back. One shot lead. It all comes down to this. Patrick Reed needs to sink it or this is over. And Ricky Fowler is our champion. Uh, so this should equal this. This should equal this. This should equal this. Okay. And this should equal this. Okay. 
All right, here he goes. Patrick Reed, one shot behind. 52 is driving. Oh, and it's his worst category. He's an F driver. Oh, no. He needs a 61 or higher to get a birdie. Anything else? And this is over. Ricky Fowler is our 2018 Masters Champion. Patrick Reed needs a 61 or higher. Or this is over. 61! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we're going to extras, boys and girls. We are going to extras. Oh my god. We are going to extras, which of course I hadn't programmed in. And now uh, we're going to have to add. Whew, we're going to have to add in. Hmm, extras here. That's going to be crazy. It is. Who is it? It's going to be Ricky Fowler. It's going to be these two guys. Uh. Let's go control C, control V, wait, what? Can't do that with merge cells. Oh, bullshit. What are you doing? What the frickety frack are you doing? Oh, okay. Well, what the hell? Huh. Well, well, well. Hopefully it saved it because uh, otherwise there's it somehow completely erased everything that I had so Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't know what the hell it did. Um, so we're going to just stay. It was minus, what was it? Minus 15 and minus 15. All right, we'll just pick it up from here. Uh, although I think if there's a playoff at the Masters, you go back and do 18, you play the 18th hole again. And then if there's still a tie, you go back and you play the 17th and the 18th, I believe is what we do. So we're going to start, we're, I believe that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the 18th hole. And we're going to play the 18th hole. So, John Rahm is out. Jordan Spieth, thanks for playing. Uh, John Rahm was at, he was at uh, 14 under total. So, let's, let's put his minus 14 in there. Spieth, I think, ended at 7 under. I don't know. How, whatever reason, it didn't save the results, which is all right, fine. We know what they were. But here we go. We're going to extra holes here. 18th hole again. 
Uh, John State, uh, minus 15 and minus 15. Ron was 14 and Spieth was minus 7. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Thank you for that. All right, so we play the 18th hole again, which is a par 4. Uh, a and a B, so advantage goes to Ricky Fowler, but... And uh, let's see, Ricky Fowler has honors here, so let's see when he goes. 34 is putt. So for, I think this is the first time we've had putting in a long time. He's a B putter. If he rolls a 54 or higher, he gets the birdie. Here he goes. 64! It's... Oh, he almost got a 2 under. It's a minus 1. A... Oops. I started it. Minus 1. He is a minus 7. Alright. A birdie. We got to change our thing again here. Birdie. All of these should be white. 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 I'm going to have to go back and un redo everything that I did with the other one. Uh, but he got a birdie. So now it will be over if... Uh, Let's go ahead and save this. There we go. Patrick Reed needs a birdie in the first playoff hole here in 2018. Patrick Reed gets a 22, and this is a par 4. He is a B. He needs to sink a 41 or higher. Again, he needs to be clutch. He's been clutch twice. Can he make it a third time? He needs a 41 or higher. 63! Are you kidding me? He's done it again. Pumping his fist. We're going to extras, boys and girls. We're going to extras. So this is, um, I'm going to put down, this is the 18th hole. Then this is the 17th hole. And then we go back to the 18th after that. So this is a, 18th is a, was a par four. Then the 17th is a par four. And then the 18th is a par four. And after that, I'm not sure what they do. I think uh, I'm not 100% sure. I would have to look it up. Let's hope it doesn't go that far. Holy crap, we're going to second sudden death hole. Uh, and it's going to be Ricky Fowler. 22, he got that last time. This is a par 4. He is an A. This is a 36 or higher for the birdie. He gets it. Another birdie. These guys, oh. These guys are on a roll. Oh my gosh, they can't miss now. And the pressure right back on Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed's, come on, I've saved it once. I've saved it twice. I've saved it three times. Can I do it again? I don't know. That's a lot to ask. 32 is the par four. He's a B. Once again, 41 or higher for the Bernie. Can he do it again? Yeah. <laughs> he does it again. He will not be denied. And we go to our third stun and death hole. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. And it's another par 4 18th. We've been here twice already. This is our third time in this last round. The sun is starting to set. It's getting dark. We have to get a winner soon. Ricky Fowler. 53 is another par 4. He is an A. Again, 36 or higher is a birdie. 30. No, we cannot do it. Which means the door is open for Patrick Reed if he can be clutch one last time to win it. 24 is the par four. He's a B. 41 or higher, and this is this is over. 41 or higher, and the tournament's his. It's his. He's clutch. Not once. Not twice. Not three times. Four times he was clutch. Oh my God. He deserves to win this tournament. For sure. For sure. Clutch. That was clutch. 
Wow. I can't believe Patrick Reed, who won in real life. I can't believe he came back and won this. What a game. What a match this turned out to be. Woo! Excitement abounds. Uh, it could have been, well, it could have had a three-way playoff if John Rahm wouldn't have had that one double bogey. That was crazy. Besides that, he was right in it all the way to the end. What an exciting tournament. Player of the game. Golf. You can get it at Downey Games. Again, this game is designed not for hole by hole like we played it. But it does say in the rule books that the game engine is flexible enough that you can do it with this. And basically how we played it here. Uh, using these little charts. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great little game. Great little engine. It simulates the golf. It's You can play a whole tournament. Like basically from start to finish, all four rounds. You're rolling one time to get their round results. So you're not doing hole by hole normally. But I wanted to try this this way because I thought it would be interesting to give it a whirl. Yeah, thanks Josh. Thanks for coming by everyone. We appreciate it. I want to head out myself so we will see everyone next time. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you enjoyed this content, we would love to have you come by more often. Thanks so much, and we'll see everyone next time. Until then, my friends, take care of yourselves. Mr. Clutch, Patrick Reed, four times he had to save off elimination. Four times in a row. He did it, and he wins the tournament. The Masters 2018, just like in real life. What can we say? Thanks for watching. See you next time.